Hello and welcome to the channel and on today's video I'm going to be doing an overview of this which is the EPOS B20 streaming microphone and I'm telling you that if you are serious about streaming from the PS4, PC or the Mac then pay attention as this is a beast. So on today's video we're going to be looking at the build quality. Oh yeah. We're going to be going through all of the features. Yep. Yep. And most importantly how it sounds. Oh yes. So join me as we put this down on the tech desk, turn up the lights and look at the B20 streaming microphone from EPOS. Here we are then down on the tech desk and here's the microphone itself where we've just unboxed it and these are the bits that you get in the box. So I'm just gonna quickly explain what they do. So this is the USB cable, this is 2.9 meters and it is proper quality. It's a really good, well terminated, excellent quality USB cable. And also this, which is your desk stand, okay? So the desk stand itself is metallic and it has four rubber feet on the end for when it goes on your desk. Um, you're probably, if you're serious about getting a streaming mic, you're probably going to be using a boom arm. I would suggest that's better. You're going to get much less vibrations than on a desk. When I was using this on this desk, this is certainly quite a hollow desk, and there was a, a little bit of vibrations through here. So I would suggest using it on the boom arm. So you can either have it like that, or you ping it over like that for the boom arm. With the uh, desktop stand, it needs to go like this. It won't fit that way. So all you do is you ping that open like that. You then put it together. The desk stand can only go one way on there, and then you get that bolt that's included. Screw it in. Use a flat blade if you want. There you go, like that. Then you're in. Okay, there we go. That's how the mic is positioned. Absolutely fantastic. So when you first get it out of the box, it feels quality, it feels premium. The box is super, super premium. I mean, you definitely feel like you're gonna, you're getting a decent quality mic here. It's around $200, around 180 pounds, but this is an absolute beast of a microphone. It just feels beautiful. So this is all kind of metallic. There's any plastic bits in there, like a kind of casing and other knobs there. And this is all metallic here. Okay, so going over it then, on the top we have the EPOS logo. And then going down the sides here, on the which is essentially the back of the microphone, we have a gain. So this is infinitely scrolling, so you can control this, so you can control your gain for the microphone. And this is where your uh, four polar patterns are, and I'll talk about those in a bit. And then here is essentially the front. At the top here is an LED. Now when this is on, this will be white, and then you press the mute, and that will go red. And then this is your volume. So this is what you would hear. So this is what's coming out of um, the headphones. Underneath there, again, infinitely scrolling. And as I said, on the bottom, it has USB Type C, which you plug into your PC, and you have your headphone jack in there. If you are going to use it on desktop stand, you have them poking out there. They come through here and they go under here. So there's like a cutout there, you see? So it can go all the way down there and through there. So it can stand nicely on your desk. So when you look at what is essentially the back of the microphone, as we said, we've got four polar patterns here. This far left one, this one is, is stereo, and this works similar to human hearing, and it sounds very natural. So it focuses on the left and the right side and mixes sounds in front. 
So if you move while talking, it will pick up the impression of movement. This next one is omnidirectional and it's perfect if you have several guests joining you as they will sit all around. It will capture sound from all the way around the sound without any focus. So you kind of put this microphone in the middle of all of your participants. This next one here is cardioid. So this is the best choice if you're doing recordings alone. This is a setting sound recording focus on the front. Uh, from the sides and the rear, it's a little bit quieter. And as we said, essentially this microphone, this is the front. So you capture sound just from this bit. And then finally, bi-directional. This is optimized for speech recordings that have uh, sounds in front and to the rear. So if you have it here, you would capture sound here and you would capture sound here. So whichever one's best for you, you can set that to. I have it on uh, when I'm streaming, do cardioid there. So it just picks it up from the front when it's on the boom. And it can be on the boom in any way you like. So out of the box, a fantastic sounding mic anyway, but there's also a trick up sleeve. You also have software as well. So Epos do this gaming suite software that only runs on Windows 10, doesn't run anything else. So if you've got a Windows 10 PC, you can tweak this mic to be exactly how you want it. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to flick over to the PC just so I can show you and give you a run through on the software and how that works. So here we are then on a Windows 10 PC and this is the EPOS gaming suite. Now the first thing when you do when you load it up is just have a look on here on the settings tab. So the settings down here just to check there's not a device firmware. So currently at the time of recording, I'm on 1.0.5 and then check the software version. But pretty much if you've downloaded this from the website, you should be on the, the um, latest version anyway. Okay, so when you plug it in, it will detect it. So the EPOS B20 there and down the bottom we have settings, microphone and playback. So when you click the middle one, this is where you change on the microphone. So down here is where you can change all the settings. So we have voice enhancer, warm, off, clear, and custom. You can change the gain, up and down there like that. So this is the button on the microphone. This is the only button on the microphone. Side tone, 0 to 100%. Noise gate, 0 to 100%. And noise cancellation, 0 to 50 or 100. Entirely up to you. And then high pass filter on and off, and then we have the mute. And as we've shown with the, with the microphone, as we said before, when the microphone is on, there is a white button, and when you mute it, it's red. And this will also change if I change if I break it on the software, it will change on the microphone. Similarly, there as well, cardioid there. If I go to the microphone and I change this to something else, it will change to omnidirectional. I'm changing this now on the microphone. It will change within the software. So you change it how you want it. So cardioid and we'll have uh, the voice enhancer on warm, which is we've had on the introduction like that. And then you can do a mic test. So you can do a recording, speak into it and then hit the play and it will play back what you've recorded. If you wanted to change any of these where you want it, all you do is you go to here, go to custom, and then you can just play about with it and change any of these to exactly how you want it. And then you're happy with that, do a bit of a record and then hit play just to see what it, what it sounds like. Or just choose one of the other ones. I quite like warm, but it's entirely up to you. And finally down the bottom here is the last one is the headphones. So this is what's coming out, coming out of the microphone. Again, you can change all these, move away how you want how you want it to sound through your headphones and do a sound test audio feedback and we've got uh, mode 2.0 or 7.1 and then you can change the reverberation 0 to 100%. So a lot of tweaking to be done there, a lot of tweaking. So out of the box, as we said, it sounds fantastic but you can really tweak this to make this sound phenomenal just by using this software. So that was a brief run through of the software and we've had a look overall of overall the mic and how fantastic it is. And now we're gonna do a sound test. So I'm about 20 centimeters away from this mic. I've also got a Rode wireless mic. The Rode that I have, the wireless one, is about half the price of this. So I wouldn't expect them to be comparable, but just wanted to do, what I'll do is I will, leave, I will show you which part of the sound is playing up there. B20 has been on the desktop stand, so it does have some vibrations in it as the boom arm or a mere solid desk than mine would be preferable. 
I've also not tweaked the sound post-production, simply recorded the video using a basic sound recorder on my PC. This is easily one of the best mics I've used for my videos and the streaming has enough features to accommodate even the most professional of streamers. The clarity is superb and when testing on the PC, Mac and the PS4, I haven't experienced a better mic. If you want it warm, you can. Clear with no highs, yep. Just tweak the settings just how you want it and having the main controls on the mic help with the sound quality even further. So there we have it then, that was my look at this, the Epos B20 streaming microphone. Let me know your thoughts on what you think of this. Please do let me know if you think it was an unfair comparison because yes it was, the Rode Wireless isn't really a streamer's mic at all. This is much more suited to it. It's just the Rode Wireless is the only other one kind of like I have for my videos. So that's the reason I had it. But either way, this sounds phenomenal. I'm so impressed with this. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Are you going to be picking this one up? Do you do any streaming? Let me know. Let me know your handle down below and I'll come and follow you on Twitch or YouTube, whatever you need to. That'd be fantastic. I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. Please do stick a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you're new around here. And until the next video. Bye-bye.